Just a little diversion. Welcome back. This is the Throws Definitive, the place where we talk yo yo's and love for the throw. I'm Simply Mike, and today we're going to talk about a brief history of the first base by Recess. Who doesn't know about the first base? It's Recess's bread and butter throw, their first step in a larger world. Available nearly everywhere yo-yos are sold. It has quite the footprint, but I don't think it's enough. Recently, there's been these uh, splash colorways. I think this is called Magma, and this is the Galaxy. So you've got a lot of options. Recess recently released the Charm to their lineup, along with the Snack, their undersized throw. There's much to be had for sure. And most recently, Recess put out a 3A snack pack for those that want to get double fisted with their action. In short, Recess is pretty substantial as a yo-yo company. Not quite as big as the big boys, but they have enough of a presence to warrant investigation. As a comparison, I put the recessed first base up against a couple of other plastic yo-yos in my collection. And I find that it is most like the Premier by something. Same fit, same feel in the hand, only the first base is maybe a gram heavier, which makes its performance a little better because the Premier is super floaty. And how does the first base play? Well, it's typical of a plastic yo-yo, but let me quantify that by saying it's typical of a modern plastic. And you can do all the modern tricks that you can on a modern yo-yo. Side style, front style, speed combos, all that good stuff. This is the best plastic for entry level, intermediate, and you can even take a professional if you want. Just a good all-around yo-yo for general use. The only problem that I'm really having is that I haven't thrown a plastic this light in a while. So my muscle memory is more accustomed to the metal yo-yos that I've been throwing these past few months uninterrupted. Sorry. As much as I love this yo-yo, Houston, we have a problem. See, I'm like many of you. I want yo-yo and the sport to grow beyond its confines. But look at this toy shelf, this rack, filled with all this dollar store cheap looking stuff. And right in the middle is this Duncan. And for many people, the general populace, 
This is what modern yo-yoing is. They think that this Dunkin' Butterfly means something. But this doesn't inspire trick innovation. Not in the slightest. You take this thing home, and this is all you can do. A couple of loops. Add to it, no strings, nothing about maintenance, and you will quickly get bored with this. I know some yo-yo professionals that make money yo-yoing. They get bored with the butterfly. And yet, that's what's being sold to the general populace. And this is the problem because the first base is a superior yo-yo. It should be the other way around with the first base being sold millions of units around the world. But, que sera, sera. Let me stop complaining, get off of that tangent, because I like being an outlier. I like being on the fringe. When everybody does something, it stops being cool. Check these stats. Notice that there's a grooved bearing available with this. And you don't see that with an entry-level yo-yo like this. But this actually makes it a lot better as far as play. And lastly, I want to give kudos to the guys over at Recess. Kai and Tyler, and I think a few others. They go to schools and tour, giving shows and tutorials to help move yo-yo forward in the minds of people. Good job. And since I don't talk about it, I be about it. Today marks the first meeting of the Cuyahoga Falls Yo-Yo Club, featuring me, Josh, Waylon, Robert, and Freddie. My son showed up too, but he was off doing something else. Anyway, if you're in the area, check us out third Saturdays between 2 and 4. Or you can get it with us on our website. And next time, oh yeah, the Bastet. We're going to get into some of that organic goodness. Just me doing my part to clean up the environment. <laughs> yeah. All right. Until next time, folks. You guys have a good one. Keep throwing. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace.